I'm going round and around and I cannot deny it. I think I really have to address how to transition to the plant-based lifestyle. Some of these tips may or may not help you, but for those of us of the mature side of this age group, I think it's really important to transition as much as plant-based as you possibly can in your diet if you are looking to chase the health and receive optimum health results. I have my own issues that I've been struggling with and so this is what led me to eating more plant-based. I have some tips if you're thinking about transitioning as well, especially for the new year coming, why not just take the time to look at your own health and really go for it because you can't go wrong here when you're putting vitamins into your body. You just can't go wrong. So tip number one is knowing your why and why are you doing it in the first place. As I said before, I am doing this as an example and sharing my life and how things are working out for me in diet and food choices and fasting. For those of us that have some struggles with say cholesterol, diabetes even, even any kind of issues that are affected by your diet. And so I was always a meat eater most of my life. I ate a lot of cheese, a lot of dairy, and I still have a little bit of a challenge with dairy because I do love cheese, but I have minimized it down to 10%, if that, maybe one time a week that I actually have dairy in my meal. I know that my cholesterol is too high and I had to start doing some adjustments. So knowing my why and knowing your why is really going to motivate you to continue to eat just like this and living in this plant-based world. I'm adding in more and more and eliminating most of the meat and dairy and even sugar processed foods. This is knowing my why because I know that my cholesterol is coming down when I'm eating more plants. Number two is educate yourself. You know, educate yourself about the plant-based world. There are different types of eaters, as I mentioned before, when it comes to plant-based. Are you whole foods plant-based, meaning that you are strictly eating that way because you are trying to gain momentum in the way that you want your health to go? I read some books like The Starch Solution by Dr. McDougall. Also his other book is Maximum Weight Loss. That was more about being a starchivore is what I call it, is going for starches first and then surrounding it around all the other vegetables and fruits that are out there along with beans and legumes. I also read The Pleasure Trap and that's telling us how we seek to eat the worst foods, the junk food, because it tastes so good, right? Because it has a lot of sugar, it's processed, genetically modified, and so it is giving us pleasure for that moment in time, but then we pay for it in the long run. And so this is making you more conscious about what you're doing with your food choices and how you will go about it, but also realizing that it will be a detriment to your health, but it's about building your taste buds. If you ate food in your natural state, then that is going to build your taste buds so you'll want it more and more. You desire the fruits, the vegetables, and the starches. It will come in time, but you have to give it time. That leads me to my other tip is discovering your favorite recipes. Pick some starches that you really like because these are on the lower calorie density chart. That is a good thing if you are in weight loss mode and you can eat more of it. So if you look at the chart, you will see that I love potatoes. And so I decided that I was going to build more recipes that surround my love of potatoes, whether it's sweet potatoes, whether it's yellow potatoes, and then I build my plate that way. And then you create great recipes. I have recipes on regedited.com. I'm still building more and more recipes because I wanna put something together for you all that you can have a resource to go to in plant-based. And so it's keeping it simple. Choose four or five meals that you can go to all the time. So if you get lost throughout the week, you know you come back to your good old favorite recipes. If you're eliminating meat, then you wanna look at swapping out alternatives for the meat. 
Some people would use tofu in exchange for meat. For me, I don't really eat a lot of tofu because I really want to be careful about my weight and that's a heavier, a higher calorie density type of food. Instead of those food items, I like to replace it with something like mushrooms. Portobello mushrooms has a great texture that replaces like steak or hamburger for me. I've had mushroom burgers, you know, those are so good and so filling. The texture is there, so you really feel satiated. Look at alternatives on how you can replace the meat and look at the alternatives, how you can replace the cheese. You can make sauces that are like cheese, taste like cheese with nutritional yeast. You can have cashews in it and you blend it in together and other spices and voila, you have a cheese dip that you can use for your snacks or you can put it over your potato. You can have the plant-based items in your sauces without feeling guilty that you're having dairy in it. So you're replacing the dairy, you're replacing the meat. Now, don't go hungry, you know, eat until you're satiated. And that's the difference about low calorie density foods. So if you're at the lower end of the chart, which is non-starchy vegetables, you know, green vegetables, that's usually like 200, 300, somewhere around there calories per pound. You're having servings, so you're not necessarily having a pound or two of vegetables, but if you're eating one time a day, like me, then that's something that you won't be able to hit, most likely. And that's the great thing about eating plant-based, you don't have to count the calories. And that is what I feel best about. I look at more about plate positioning than looking at actual counting calories. So bottom line is eat until you're satiated, not overstuffed, but just eat till you're satiated. Another tip I would suggest is you can shop online or have a really focused plant-based grocery list when you go to the store. So you stay on track and be focused. Okay. Use your list by looking at all the meals that you would eat for the week and then build it around that. You can check out, I have a basic general list, but it is the go-to pantry foods and also the fresh foods that I'm eating these days. And so you can check that out and you can download it for free on regedited.com. What I would suggest to you as well is you really have to find a circle of support, like-minded people that eat the same way as you or that you're trying to eat, I think it's very helpful. If you can get people on board in the house to eat the same way you do, then that's even better. If you have a spouse or you have kids or whatever the case is, and they are on board with this type of eating, then it'll make your life a lot easier <laughs> because you're not shopping at two different ways or shopping at two different stores like I am because the people in my house do not want to eat the way I do. Just make sure that your environment, you have support, even though they might not eat the way you do, but that they are respecting the way that you're going after a better health and a better food choice. This will take me back about the grocery store and your list. You want to prep, prep for the week. And if you think of grocery shopping that way, it's going to make your life so much easier. Trust me, because you don't want to be in a panic and you're in the middle of the week and then you ran out of your fresh food. You can also have frozen food too. I mean, frozen vegetables are just fine. It's so easy to have, say your brown rice or any rice. Maybe you have some frozen brown rice that's already ready to go. Throw your vegetables on top of it as well and voila you have a dish right you have a bowl i call that weight loss in a bowl you don't ever want to get caught with not having food around or trying to figure it out day to day because that's going to get you frustrated and then you're going to eat up the wrong thing and you'll be mad at me or you'll be mad at yourself <laughs> well we don't want that so let's just have a plan prep 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 whenever you go grocery shop and shop for the week, if you can. Sometimes you may have to shop every three days, every four days, because you wanna keep your food fresh. If you're eating just fresh food, it can be tough because I found myself throwing away uh, some vegetables and some, especially spinach for me. I got a little bit too optimistic because I try to eat salads with a main dish no matter what. And sometimes I don't feel like the salad and that's okay. Raw food is good, but you have to eat it usually in a few days when it comes to like spinach or lettuce of some sort. Another tip is you get questions from other people that may not understand 
what you're pursuing in your diet, they may not understand that and they ask these questions like, you know, where do you get your protein? Aren't you starving yourself? These kind of questions will come up and that's okay because I get it. You know, I do eat my fish at least once a week. So I enjoy that and that's fine. But if you are trying to be 100% whole food plant-based, that's okay too. The plants, you get plenty of protein. So you just have to look at it and look at all the nutrients and the facts, you know, beans, those kind of things, lentils, even spinach. Other vegetables like broccoli have protein in them. So enjoy and tell people, leave you alone. Just tell people, don't worry about it. If they're interested in learning more about it, that's great, then you share with them. If they're not, you know what? It's okay, they don't have to understand your diet, but try this for a short period of time, maybe a month or maybe three months or maybe six months and see where you are and look at it that way. And when you go to your doctor, I'm sure they're gonna notice the difference. Just politely say, I'm experiencing on plant-based diets. That's it. And my last tip, I would just say, just be kind to yourself. Take care of yourself the best way that you can. If you have a suggestion on videos that you like to see in this coming new year, please do leave a comment below. I am also on Instagram and you can check me out at Reg Edited as well. So please come over and say hello. So I have a question for you. Are you interested in transitioning to a plant-based diet. If you're interested and you like to come and check me out and maybe you wanna do some one-on-one -on -one sessions, I do coaching for fasting as well as transitioning to plant-based diet just to help with accountability or maybe just to come up with some custom meal plan. If, if that's something you're interested in, please do check me out at regedited.com. And always remember that caregiving begins with you and keep searching for that perfect bite and balance. Cheers. Oh,